Hey everybody, this is JFeatherFan12312 here, welcoming you all back to another episode of Let's Play Plans vs. Zombies. Um, right now it is 12.05 a.m., and I've been awake since 8.41 a.m. <sighs> been awake for a while, but right now we're gonna do Adventure Mode Level 1-8. Getting close to my goal of 1-10, which I really want to reach, because I'm getting kind of sick of making it of Buckethead. That's going to be annoying. Okay. Pea Shooter, Sunflower, or er, Chomper, Walnut, Snow Pea, and I guess Cherry, but I want to use that more than the Potato Mine. <sighs> sunflower. Okay, so this time I'm going to plan it out more thoroughly. Row of pea shooters. Then I'm going to do a row of snow peas. Well, I'll do a row of things, depending on what type of zombie comes up. If buckethead zombie comes up, well, I'll do the chompers first. Some other strategies with the chomper, if you have a ton of sun... Put the chomper down, have him eat a zombie, then erase him and put another one down. I usually never do that, though. I usually just put walnut or tallnut in front of it, since I've already exposed you to the name tallnut. May as well say it sometimes again. I'm, this is going to be awful for you, because I'm just going to leave you guys in suspense on what a tallnut is. Not going to tell you. Fig you're gonna figure it out once we get it, which is gonna be a lot later in the game, and at a different date. I'm pretty sure you get a Tolna in the pool level, very end of the pool level, I'm pretty sure. Which means, you don't get Tolna for two more stages, because the next stage is night, and then uh, the stage after that is pool. I'm just gonna put a walnut here for that conehead zombie to start chewing on. Since he's got a walnut there to chew on, I may as well finish my row of sunflowers. And as you can see, this level is actually shorter than the last level. It only has one flag. Still curious as to why right now, which I actually just realized right now that it only has one flag, so... I'm kind of curious to why it only has one flag when the last level had two, but oh well. I don't think I'll get everything I want to get out, but there's that bucket head, which means chomper right there. As you can see, whenever a pea hits a bucket head, it makes that little clink sound. Walnut. I guess I should not have made two rows of pea shooters, but oh well. I can just erase this pea shooter. If I even get to the point where I need a snow pea. I may as well, because I want to stick to what I planned. I should have put the snow pea down there. Oh well. Too late now. Just going to waste his time with the sunflower. Which is probably a bad idea. Probably just a waste of sun, but who cares. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be anywhere near as long as the last video. And amazingly, the last video was uploading very quickly. It was seven minutes long, and it took less than a minute to upload. I have no clue why, but that it took that long to upload. Yeah, not very long at all. Put the snow pea there so that eh, that row actually has a fighting chance of not using its lawnmower. Which would be a very good thing, because the final wave... Final waves get hard. Trust me on that. Uh, let me erase this. Yes, I'm putting a walnut 
Actually, I'm putting a walnut exactly where I normally would go. If I had a chomper behind it, I just want to make sure that bucket head dies. And chomper, I'm just going to put him right here to kill that bucket head. And I'm just going to remove him because he does not look good in that scenery. Repeater, yay! A repeater is just like a pea shooter, only it spits out two peas at once. See, so fires two peas at a time. And quit, quit. And I will see you all next time. Bye.